Uh, Metro Boomin's BBL Drizzy, the Drake disc, sparks massive lawsuits against AI companies. So Metro Boomin's BBL Drizzy beat that was used to disc Drake has led to a number of lawsuits being filed against artificial intelligence companies. Uh, AI firms Suno and UDO have been sued by RIAA and major record labels Sony Music, Warner Music Group, and Universal Music Group over alleged copyright infringement. Uh, UDO created BBL Drizzy, which was then sampled by Metro for his instrumental diss track, with the original song being artificially created, including the vocals. Uh, Metro is not named as a defendant in the lawsuits, and it is believed that he was not aware the sample was AI generated when he used it. Uh, the two companies were accused of using copyrighted material owned by Sony Warner Universal to train their AI models to generate music. Uh, building and operating these services requires at the outset um, copying and ingesting massive amounts of data to train a software model to generate outputs, the label's attorneys claim. For these services, this process involved copying decades worth of the world's most popular sound recordings and then ingesting these copies to generate outputs that imitate the qualities of genuine human sound recordings. Uh, the lawsuit is seeking an injunction against Suno and Udio to stop them from using existed copyrighted music to train their programs, as well as damages from infractions that have already been committed. The lawsuit also contains... Uh, purported evidence that Suno and Udio used copyright recordings from a number of artists across uh, three record labels. They came. They claim they have evidence of the AI programs copying producer tags of Cash Money AP and Jason Derulo, as well as vocals from the likes of Michael Jackson and Mariah Carey. Uh, Suno released a statement in response to the lawsuit that said, Suno's mission is to make it possible for everyone to make music. Our technology is transformative. It is designed to generate completely new outfits Outputs, not to memorize and regurgitate pre-existing content. That is why we don't allow user prompts that reference specific artists. Uh, we have, we would have been happy to explain this to the corporate uh, record labels that filed this lawsuit. And in fact, we try to do so. But instead of entertaining a good faith discussion, they reverted to their old lawyer-led playbook. Uh, Suno is built for new music, new uses, and new musicians. We prioritize uh, or we prize originality. Uh, the RIAA took issue with the statement with the spokesperson countering saying, if there is any takeaway from UDO's uh, meandering response, it is that UDO is attempting to construct, construct an alternate reality where being pro-artist means stealing artists' work for profit. In the reality, everyone else is living in. Artists advocate groups oppose what UDO is doing and strongly support these lawsuits. Uh, supporting real creativity means getting permission before using someone's work and developing technology that partners with and supports human artists instead of cutting them out and replacing them. Uh, music companies have already struck multiple partnerships with startups, entrepreneurs, and others that are responsible. Others with responsible applications of AI, they added. Uh, there's one surprising note of agreement. Udio now seems to admit their model copied a large collection of recorded music. That's starting an admission of illegal and unethical conduct, and they should be held accountable. Wow, this is a long read. These damn lawyers and their shit. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Cheryl Crow, right? So I tied these two articles together because it deals with AI. Cheryl Crow is right. You cannot take someone's dead voice and, you know, play jokes with it and have fun with it. I get what Drake was trying to do. Bad taste. Uh, bad. And he did it in bad taste. Um, and then labels, you know, suing for the BBL Drizzy sample because it's not original. The ironic, the funny thing in this, and you can mark my words, and I swear to God, this is going to happen. I can, I'm 98% sure. The 2% that I'm not sure, I don't know where it's coming from, but hey, that you got to leave some room for something, right? 98% sure that these labels don't give two fucks about using an artist's voice. Listen, these are the same labels that when Michael Jackson died, fabricated Michael Jackson's songs to sell a fake Michael Jackson album. That album, Michael, that came out in 2010 after Michael Jackson died in 2009. Rest in peace to the GOAT. Actually, the day just passed, June 25th. It's been like, what, 15 years since he passed? Anyways, 2010, they dropped an, a self-titled album called Michael. Turns out half, about either half or 60% of the album was fake recorded. The vocals weren't for Michael Jackson. It was somebody that sounds very, 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 very good like Michael Jackson. There are only a few tracks that were real on that album. Obviously, the Hold My Hand record with Akon because 
you know, that song was leaked a while ago in like 2007. So Michael Jackson was alive around that time. So that was a real track. Uh, there was a few other ones, but majority were fake. So if a label is willing to do that before AI was even a fucking thing, what makes you think they give two fucks about protecting artists' rights and copyrights? When these artists dies, when Drake dies, when all these artists that are popping that have a name, Eminem, Jay-Z, whoever the fuck you want to name, when they die, these labels are going to lie to our face and say, oh my God, Jay-Z had this whole vault of music. Now we're going to release a bunch of albums that Jay-Z had in his vault of music. Reality is going to be AI. By the time this happens, by the way, we're not even going to be able to tell the difference between AI and the real voice. There's going to be no... Right now, you can still tell. Like, I knew when the Push Ups record came out, that was actually Drake, and it wasn't AI. Um, and then I knew which records were AI when they came out, when they were leaking them and pretending to be this and that. Regardless, you know, uh, this... The labels don't give a fuck about the artists. Like, they're saying that now to make themselves look good. They're just mad that these companies are taking profits from them. Because once they... See how they're already in cahoots with AI technology companies? They're going to figure out a way to use DMX's AI voice and use whoever's passed away, Juice Worlds and Pop Smokes and all this to make profit off them. Now, we talked about this before. I've talked about this on podcasts 90 million times, right? I think if you get approval from their family or you get approval from the artist before they die, especially if you get approval from the artist before they die, the artist says, listen, God forbid whenever I die, you guys have a right to use my AI voice as long as the splits are this to my family, right? Because somebody's got to eat from the fact that you're profiting off of, you know, an artist's voice, right? So if an artist says it's okay, then it's okay. I have no problem with it. Hey, that's the artist's choice. They have a right to do that. But when the artist has passed away, you can't really ask the artist, what do they think? Because does that affect their artistry, what they kind of believe in, you know, human touch to things. A lot of artists believe that, and that's true. A human touch thing is way different versus the robots. Then it goes down to asking the family, should they do this? I don't know. That's where it gets tricky to me, you know, but if the family agrees, hey, it's a different story, you know, putting money like, see, Easy es kids ended up basically struggling because Easy got screwed out of record label deals. His wife took the record label and basically took all the money from it. And when really Easy worked his ass off to have his kids live a better life than him, and they ended up not doing it. Now, in that type of situation, would it be great if they could resurrect EZ's voice and bring a whole new revenue stream to the family where they wouldn't have to live, you know, a life that's struggling? Amazing. That'd be great. That would be way beneficial. But it'd have to be approval of the family, man. I think the people that are really close to him or that relate to him or that are related to him in one way or another, they have to get approval. So I'm with Cheryl Crow in this. Disrespectful, distasteful. Uh, what did she say? Um... You cannot bring people back from the dead and believe that they would stand for that. Exactly. Um, I'm sure Drake thought, yeah, blah, blah, blah. She added, it's hateful. It's antithetical to the life force that exists in all of us. I agree. And the fact that BBL Drizzy, the company that made it, is getting sued, uh, we're going to see a lot less use of the AI stuff because record labels are going to crack down on this. And they're once they figure out a way to make money from it, though, they're going to reintroduce it to the world and they're going to package it as oh, we're just extending the life of the artists and we're making their family rich still off of it and stuff like that. Uh, whether you buy it or not, I don't know. I don't, I'm not trustworthy record labels, never have been. I just, they're not, they're not these holy people that they say they are. I'm telling you right now, they are dumb. I mean, if you go to the music documentary, How Music Got Free, which is on Paramount Plus, check it out. Great documentary, very well executed. RIAA was suing regular ass college students and people for illegally downloading music and it backfired on them so badly the press were attacking them like crazy they sued some random college kid like for 660 million dollars like what the fuck a college kid is that that kind of money they had to file bankruptcy i deal with a bunch of shit they were just suing random people because they didn't know how to they didn't know how to take control of the leaks they said you know what fuck it if we can't control the leaks, we're just going to sue everybody that we catch downloading illegal music. And then you're never going to stop. You're never going to stop it. People are still going to download it, blah, blah, blah. Now you guys find an alter, alternative with streaming music. And we're going to be talking about that right now because Metro Boomin has also revealed that he's going to be removing his albums off streaming platforms. We're going to be talking about that a little bit later. But yeah, man, this AI stuff, like I said, labels don't have the best interest for artists. They're saying that, but in reality, I don't think they do. They're going to find a way to make that AI stuff profitable for them. 
and they're going to screw the artists over as much as they can. So, yeah, we'll keep our eyes posted.